lecturer in the university at the University of Pennsylvania's Museum of Anthropology and Archaeology. This is a, a wonderful place. Uh, I've been coming here since I was 10 years old. My dad used to get me out of school to do catering jobs with him here. Thank you all for coming. I can't tell you how pleased I am to be opening for the Roddenberries. I never thought that would happen. Tonight is a, an adventure in Star Trek through the galleries with various kinds of activities through which you can earn ranks in different uh, uh, parts of the ship's complement. And it began with my lecture and it's going to finish with a great performance by the Roddenberries. exploring the museum in a different way. Star Trek explores different worlds, goes, you know, alien planets, so we figured why not? That's what archaeology does, explores different worlds. Not necessarily alien planets, but different cultures, so blending the two together and experiencing the museum in a different way. Because we wanted to do a Star Trek night, we wanted to make that, and of course they're, the, you know, the band in Philadelphia for the Star Trek. I, I think that I would make the connections between Star Trek and fundamentals of human existence, not even just anthropology. I think that's something that Gene Roddenberry was always very interested in. Questions like the role of the emotions and racial equity and so forth. So I think that it does speak to anthropology, but it speaks to a whole lot more as well. I've been a Star Trek fan since the 1960s. So I think I probably saw most of the episodes when they were first shown. And as a kid, I wanted to be the ship's archaeologist on the Enterprise. But I never made that ambition. Until tonight. <laughs> Until tonight. Grew up a Trekkie. My mom had a Starship Enterprise on our dining room table, which was like the most amazing thing in the world. So yeah, I've always loved it. Love the science. I explore it. I've always been curious. So your so mom that. is the reason you fell into Trekkery? her fault. We even had like the original Starship Enterprise game, the board game back in the day, until it fell apart, like literally fell apart because we played it too many times. Yeah. So if you go around here, you'll see uh, all kinds of signs that uh, aliens in the past influenced humanity. The only way the ancient aliens theories